accompanied by Princess Margaret, now happily recovered from measles. It was the threat of rain that stopped the trooping, but rain failed to stop the test. We were soon thinking it would have been better if it had. England's ex-captain, Wally Hammond, was there to watch, and here come Bedser and Hardstaff, playing on his own ground, Yardley, England's skipper, and Evans, the Australians, Barnes and Morris, that was Barnes, that was, Brown and Toshak, and Don Bradman himself. England made a brilliant beginning by winning the toss, but it was won with a five-bob piece, and that's not always lucky. When the Aussies had taken the field, Hutton and Washbrook came out to open. They faced Lindwald's Expresses, among other delights, but it wasn't long before the rain took a hand in the match again. Shortly after that, Lindwall was bowling to Hutton's successor, Edridge, and at the other end, Miller was fairly bumping him down. Miller, indeed, puts tremendous energy and attack into his bowling. Lindwall's action is much smoother and his bowling considerably faster. Here's a study of Bill Johnson who took five for 36. Edridge, one of his victims, had only reached 18 and things were beginning to look very bad already. It was Johnson who got hardstaff caught in the slips for a blob. Oh dear, what a procession. And what gloom settled down over Trent Bridge. Compton bowled Miller 19. Yes, it really was grim. But when England's batsmen had been skittled out, our bowlers came to the rescue. Bedza making a stubborn 22, and Laker batting like a veteran of test cricket proved the hero of the innings. Surrey's spin bowler passed his half century and went on to make a brilliant 63 before the innings closed with a total of only 165. Few among the crowd supposed that England could get the Aussies out anything like so cheaply. Here come Morris and Barnes. You can always tell Barnes, can't you? Runs came fairly slowly, but they came, and for England, Laker added to his batting laurels by taking the first three wickets. But there's always Bradman, and that great cricketer remained, though Laker got Miller for a duck. Like his batting partner, Bedser put in some good spells of bowling, but with less success, Bradman continued to play like Bradman. And it may be that that was just what some sections of the crowd enjoyed most. Here's the Don again, with Evans very much on the alert behind the sticks. Young bowled very steadily and gave few runs away, but Bradman got his century. It seems he can't stop making them any more than some people can stop knitting.